Hello, I'm Trevor Seitz, and I will be presenting a poster on high flux passive imaging with single photon sensors. Here's the full poster. I will now zoom in on each section individually. Single photon avalanche diodes, or SPADs, are an emerging image sensor technology that can detect individual photons with very high time resolution, on the order of tens of picoseconds. These sensors are currently being used in specialized active imaging applications such as LiDAR, non-line of sight imaging, and fluorescence microscopy. In this research, we demonstrate that SPADs can also be used for passive imaging to capture 2D intensity images of a scene, just like a regular camera. First, let's review how a regular camera works. Each pixel can be thought of as a light bucket that collects photons over a fixed exposure time. This bucket fills up with photons proportional to the scene brightness. However, this bucket has a limited capacity, called the full well capacity, beyond which it saturates and can no longer capture additional photons. More formally, let's make a plot of the number of photons captured as a function of scene brightness, as shown here on the right. As the scene brightness increases, the pixel output increases linearly until it hits the full well capacity and the pixel saturates. Unlike a conventional sensor, a SPAD pixel does not suffer from a full well capacity limit. Instead, it has a non-ideality called the dead time. Every time it detects a photon, it goes dead, or blind, for about 100 nanoseconds. Once the previous dead time interval ends, the pixel is ready to capture the next photon. At the top of the slide, we see the timelines of incident photons and detected photons for a SPAD pixel at two different light levels. At low flux, the photons are spread apart on average, so the dead times do not overlap and the pixel captures almost every incident photon. So in low light, the response curve is approximately linear. But at high flux, the SPAD misses a large fraction of the incident photons due to the dead times, and the response curve flattens out. The key distinction from a conventional pixel is that it never reaches a saturation limit, and it continues to capture photons through the end of the exposure time. In fact, it is possible to analytically invert this response curve and estimate the scene brightness from the photon counts, as shown in the simple equation here on the right. This nonlinear response curve enables SPADs to obtain much higher dynamic range than a conventional pixel. But the dynamic range is not infinite due to noise. The SPAD sensor suffers from a soft saturation phenomenon. At high flux, quantization noise overtakes shot noise and becomes the dominant source of noise. However, the pixel continues to operate even at these high flux levels, albeit with a reduced SNR. We were able to show an improvement of over two orders of magnitude compared to a conventional pixel. Here are some experimental results. We captured these using a raster scanned single pixel SPAD hardware prototype. The first row shows a toy tunnel scene. The dynamic range of this scene is over a million to one. Notice that for a long exposure using the conventional camera, the region outside the tunnel appears saturated. With a short exposure time, the bright text becomes visible but the dark speed limit sign in the tunnel appears noisy and unreadable. Our SPAD prototype can simultaneously capture the dark and bright pixels in a single exposure. The second row shows another extreme dynamic range scene. Our SPAD prototype can capture the bright bulb filament simultaneously with the dark text on the alarm clock in the dark shadow. We have demonstrated the high dynamic range capabilities of SPAD sensors for passive imaging several orders of magnitude higher than conventional image sensors. This will have implications in a wide range of applications that deal with extreme dynamic range scenarios, consumer photography, robotics, astronomy, and machine vision. Thanks for watching.